What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Seven Beats and today I'm gonna make a modern Emma Piano beat in Apple Studio. So in this video I'm gonna use my new Emma Piano sample pack. The link is in the description and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So first I'm gonna adjust the BPM to 113 and I'm going to use my new pack. So it's right here. And you get some really awesome claps, cymbals, drum fills, awesome kicks. Log drum, so I've added some MIDI files, some presets for the DX10 and log drum samples, which you can edit yourself or if you're an Ableton user or Logic user, you can also use these samples. Added some percussion, shaker loops, very awesome shaker loops and some vocal shots. So I've added this bonus and this one includes some drum MIDIs, which are really awesome and my mastering chain preset for a piano. So first we're gonna start off with some claps. So I'm going to use this dry clap. I'm gonna use this one and I'm going to pick some cymbals. This one and this one. I'm gonna create a really simple pattern like this. And I'm gonna create this, this house loop. And edit the sample. Also really awesome sample. Disable the loop points, normalize it. I'm gonna make this an eight bar drum pattern. I maybe just play around with the pitch of the clip. Fire. All right, now we're gonna add a kick. So I'm going to use this deep one, normalize it. And we could just, instead of drum them all in like this. We're gonna now select all these elements and I'm going to link them to the mixer, alt, this because I prefer to link my kick to the first insert and in Emma Piano the kick is really in the background so do the same right here I'm gonna turn on the volume of the heads And maybe reduce some of the high frequencies from the heads. Let's open head one. I remove some of the low frequencies from the clap. And also reduce some high frequencies using this bell. So that's it. Also a crash. This one. Turn down the volume. That's it. So I'll drag this one into the arrangement and I'm going to add a shaker loop. So I'm going to use the second one. And as you can see, it's already stretched to the tempo of this project, which I really like when using samples. So right now it sounds like this. Or maybe just make an adjustment to the sample. Also remove some of the high frequencies, some of the trouble right here. Fire. I'm going to add around 10% of swing, just, just a tiny detail. And right now I'm going to add a chord progression. So I'm going to use the stage 73 and I'm just going to pick a preset which I like. So 
something. This one is really fire. And I'm going to add some major seven chords. So this is the first chord. I'm going to add this E to make it more jazzy. Just copy this one and just this to C and to G. Ready fire. I'm gonna add this G. Just copy this chord. Really fire. Bring it to the mixer. So I want to add something atmospheric on top of this one. So I'm going to add a choir. So I'm going to use on the spare and search for a choir. Remember, these were some really awesome presets. So I'm gonna just use this one and just copy this progression to this one. And I'm gonna turn it up one octave. So select the progression and press control. I'm gonna turn down the volume. So I've removed some of the notes. Ready fire, squire. Also link this to the mixer. I'm gonna use an EQ to make sure it's really in the background. Use a high cut filter. Also remove the low frequencies. And add some more reverb. So I think I have to add some more layers to the drums. So I'm going to add some percussion. So I'm just gonna pick one of these. This one. And this one. And I'm just gonna add a pattern which really improves the rhythm. That's really fire. So I'm going to repeat this pattern. Every four bars. And every second bar, I'm gonna add this tone. Just play around with the key of the sample, link those to the mixer. I'm gonna create a reverb bus. So link those two elements to this bus. Insert 10. Like this. And I'm going to add some delay. So just a little bit of delay. And add some reverb. low cut and adjust it the volume really fire I may play around with an EQ on the chords. 
because I think they are way too present in the mix. So I'm going to use this high shell. Because we really want those mid frequencies. And add some reverb. I like to use this reverb. I'm using a room. I remove the low frequencies because otherwise it will be way too muddy. And also use a low cut on the low frequencies. Firm the volume a little bit. So I'm using bass preset six. Really fire. And I'm gonna start off with this F. A. Really awesome, copy this one. Really fire. That's really fire. Maybe remove this one because the thumb is right here. I'm gonna add some reverb to this crash. So also just use a reverb too. And add some more decay around four seconds. Like this. Really fire. So right now I'm gonna create just a simple build up and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I've created this simple build up and just enjoy. So, so for move some of the frequencies. Use this Pro D EQ2 because I thought the frequencies were way too harsh. So right now it's more in the background. Lock drum coming in. Just really fire and still just really simple. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to download the free Apple P. The link is in the description. And I hope to see you guys in one of my next tutorials.